Hi there and welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Teresa LaBarber. We hope your day is off to a terrific start. Coming up, the Big E, the largest fair in the Northeast, is packed with every kind of food imaginable. Parades, rides, and top-notch entertainment. Sue Lavoie, the Senior Vice President of the Eastern States Exposition, is here to fill us in on all the fun. And on stage 8, it's a battle on the dance floor. Sonia Baghdadi and Gil Simmons give us a preview to the Mad About Dancing competition. Over to you, Jocelyn. Hey, Teresa, I'm in the kitchen here with local foodie Stephen Fries. It's always great to have you back with us, Stephen. Thank you. Pleasure. And I'm looking forward to this because this is a whole new creation that we're trying out today. It is. I met Kathleen King, who owns Tate's Bake Shop out in the Hamptons about five years ago. She gave me her cookbook, and lo and behold, I got an email from her with these Hurricane Irene cookies the morning of the storm. She needed to gather up all these ingredients and use them and make a recipe like a storm, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And these are her Hurricane Irene cookies, and the article appeared in my column in the register this week as well. And have you already tasted these oh, cookies? Yeah, right, and you like take it? some. Yes, I did. I had All right, so you them. totally endorse these cookies. I sure do. <laughs> okay, well, we're looking forward to tasting these cookies. Right now, let's tell everybody what they need to do. Take a look at this camera over here. Sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. Why do people wait so long to call the dentist? You're going to have to take care of it sometime. Right now, new patients get a free exam and x-rays. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Come on, people. Take care of your smile. Call Aspen Dental. A little time to smile. The unique. The spectacular. Vintage lighting exclusively for you. Restoration Lighting Gallery has rare heirloom quality lighting, lamps, and shades. Hundreds of one-of-a-kind treasures that you may never find again. Restoration Lighting Gallery and Coisel Partners. Restoring yesterday's treasures. Introducing tomorrow's heirlooms. Restoration Lighting Gallery. We bring memories to light. I'm sexy and I know it. with the stars to our season premiere event Monday 8 7 central on ABC join us join us join us join us at the table get ready for the chew <laughs> a new talk show where everyone brings something to the table to make a creamy soup without the cream use tofu for fresh ingredients nothing beats local this local enough for you <laughs> treat yourself to something delicious if you love beef try pastrami instead of bacon on your burger make every recipe your very own join the chew Weekdays, coming Monday, September 26th, only on ABC. It's the last blast of summer fun, and New England's sixth state fair is packed with food, parades, rhymes, and world-class entertainment. Here to fill us in is Sue Lavoie, Senior Vice President of the Eastern States Expo, better known as the Big E. The Big E. And it starts tomorrow. That's correct. For people who might not know what it is, why don't we explain the basics? Oh, the Big E is a national fair. We encompass all of New England. There are state buildings on our grounds from each one of the states. Um, there's rides. There's something to do all the time. Um, it's just a lot of fun and l educational, too. There's a lot of education. I think aspects. we have some video. We were looking through the state's buildings. Now, uh, when you go into a state building, each state has uh, a food that's special to they them. They have foods and products that are related to each individual state. For instance, of course, Maine has lobster, and they have their baked potato. Yes. Rhode Island has seafood. So yes, they, they each do. And while we're on the topic of food, you brought uh, an eclair and a giant cream puff I with you. I brought an eclair and a giant cream puff, <laughs> plus a lot more for everybody. And I want to show you how to eat this cream puff. Oh, there's a method to the there's madness. There's a method to this, okay? <laughs> you, this I, is an acquired uh, education. Oh, please piece, show okay? us, so. So what you do is you take the top and you kind of smoosh it. Oh, and then you get the cream on it. And this way you can share it. Too. Oh, look, at I got cream on my finger. I That's can okay. That. It seems like it might be a messy treat, but delicious. Uh, very, very good. This, this cream is very high in um, 
fat, butter fat, but very, very delicious and fresh, baked fresh daily. Great. I remember and the what, one too. of the years I had a, uh, a cheeseburger in between two glazed donuts. Yes. Is that still available? That's that was still pretty available. Tasty. That's a bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> yes, you're right. There was bacon on <laughs> yes. it. Yes. We should mention, though, in case you don't want to eat uh, quite like this, there are some other options. There's some very healthy options on the fairgrounds. We have different kinds of yogurt, uh, fat-free yogurts, frozen yogurts, all kinds of fresh fruit. Um, and we have great salads, and you can get like a grilled chicken on it or grilled pork. So no one has to be afraid of all this junk food. There no, are lots but, of options. But quite frankly, people come, and it's their one day to come and have some of the fun fair foods. I'll admit it. That's what I do. I eat my way through the states. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the entertainment because there's parades. You have some big names coming. Yes, we uh, run our parade. Um, actually, our Mardi Gras parade runs twice daily. Oh, one okay. Set uh, uh, one in the afternoon and then in the evening again. I prefer it in the evening because I like the lights on and it's, it's very spectacular. Now, those are and local we, bands, is that correct? They have Yes, we, we do. Yes, that's at our regular parade. Okay. So we have three parades. We have a parade at 5 o'clock, too. But the Mardi Gras parade throws all the beads. Oh, well, and I they're, see. And they're wonderful. We'll throw probably close to half a million sets of beads. Wow. wow. And there's floats involved yes, and yes. costumes. Yes. Great. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, the circus that's there because I know that's a big draw. Yeah. The circus runs three times a day and the star this year of the circus is a gentleman called Bello Nock and you'll recognize, there he is, you'll recognize him by his hair. It actually stands straight up like that. He's a phenomenal entertainer. The circus is just one hour long and each one of the acts are handpicked by our CEO and it's phenomenal. All right. It's a great entertainer and it's free. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Terrific. Um, all right, Bixby's Rainforest Rescue. Is this new? I don't think I'm this familiar with this. This is new. It's going to be down by the Avenue Estates okay. at Gate 2. And it's, it's very entertaining. Um, it's very geared for the young, um, but it's also very educational. And lastly, we have here uh, Extreme Vegas. Extreme Vegas, yes. So you'll see, that's on our Comcast stage, you'll see all those extreme acts um, that are very interesting. You know, the, the lady that changes clothes, like, we can't do in seconds and, I see. Uh, yeah, and a lot of um, hoopla and it's, it's really very entertaining it's and then we have we yes. have Blake Shelton we have we're closing with Reba which is a phenomenal that's a huge name phenomenal. oh how terrific now the is this part free as well Blake Shelton and Reba are paid concerts okay but everyone everything else is free on the grounds all our other, other t entertainment you can come once you pay your admission come and take a seat and watch the great shows. Now each state has their own specific day, so we have Connecticut Day. Yes, Connecticut and Day is next Wednesday. What happens during Connecticut Day? Connect it's our salute, it's the exposition salute to Connecticut. So a lot of Connecticut people come to the fair that day. Uh, the parade is, the five o'clock parade is totally dedicated to Connecticut. So. And Connecticut goes out of their way to really provide us with a great parade. They will have upwards of, you will have upwards of 20 bands in this parade. I love and that. And it loops the whole grounds. So it's, it's phenomenal to watch. I mean, and it's, how big is the, uh, is the We're the 175 acres. And we also have rides. Yes. And games. And games. And shopping. <laughs> Lots of shopping. I mean, this is, you're really going to want to spend your whole day international here. international building with all kinds of shopping. We have the Better Living Center with every gadget that you can absolutely think of. I have to tell you, my favorite at the Big E is the butter sculpture and yes. the chicken hatchery. Yes. Is that going to so be there cute. this year? Yes, the chicken hatchery. Thank goodness. I have to tell you something <laughs> about the chicken hatchery. Yes. You know, they, they have to start that 30 days out. Is that right? In order for the chicks to hatch oh. at the proper time and they have to be turned like every four hours. I could just sit there and watch the are, eggs. Aren't they phenomenal? The chicken hatchery, yeah. yeah. And the butter sculpture, he's amazing. Now he's over by the Mallory which is by one of the main entrance gates. Mm -hmm. And the chick hatchery is in the Stroh building. The Stroh building, which is called Farmerama during the fair, is very child-oriented, too, well, and rather educational. When you go in that building, you could see the giant pumpkins and the big zucchinis right. and all the award-winning. All the award-winning uh, and the apples. And um, they have the singing vegetables, which the kids yes. love to listen to. And everything is telling a story. Great. And obviously, a lot of souvenirs on hand. Yes, we have plenty. Look at how nice and colorful they are this year, too. That's and great. Hats and even a Christmas oh, and ornament. Our, and our cups, our souvenir cups to take home. 
Great. All right, Sue, so we're running out of time, but let's put all Thanks, the information Teresa. up on the screen. The Big E starts September 16th. It goes until October 2nd. It's in West Springfield, Massachusetts, and I highly recommend it. I mean, it's just a great time for Thanks. the whole family. It really is. All right, Sue, so thanks again. Up next, Stephen Fries uses a storm of ingredients to create Hurricane Irene cookies. More when Connecticut Style returns. We'll be right back. If you're between the ages of 40 and 85, call 1-800-458-1700 now to find out more about Funeral Advantage. The average funeral costs over $9,000, but the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to learn how Funeral Advantage helps protect your loved ones. It pays up to $20,000 cash immediately for funeral and any other expenses. You must be age 40 to 85 to qualify. It's easy. No physical examination is necessary. And coverage starts as soon as you're accepted. To get free information about Funeral Advantage, call 1-800-458-1700 now. With Funeral Advantage, your rates will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease, and your plan cannot be canceled. You'll also get a free planning guide to help carry out your wishes, so everything is done just as you'd want them to be. Funeral Advantage pays up to $20,000 cash to your family when they need it most. To get free information about Funeral Advantage and its benefits, call 1-800-458-1700 now. There's no obligation. Call now. Inspiration can be as unpredictable as a tropical storm, and as crazy as this may sound, today's recipe was actually created on the morning that Hurricane Irene came into town. We're back with food writer Stephen Fries. All right, Stephen, what's the backstory on well, this? Well, backstory is Kathleen King, who owns Tate's Bake Shop, I met her several years ago, had her cookbook on the shelf. An email came with this recipe that she created the morning of the storm. She needed to create a recipe using some ingredients she had laying around, and she wanted a recipe that was sort of every part of a storm, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And Voila, her Hurricane so Irene cookies. So she actually had power that morning? Yes. She did. All right. So she was one Before of the lucky ones. Before it went ones. out, she wanted to use up some of the products that she uh, used in the cookies. Excellent. So yeah. she came up with this. Yes, she did. Basic ingredients are? Uh, we've got some whole oats. We've got uh, great chocolate. Uh, we have uh, coconut. We have heath chips. And we have some pecans. And then over here, I've already creamed some butter, brown sugar, regular sugar. And we're going to add some eggs and homemade vanilla extract. And the chocolate, you say, is the finest. It's the finest chocolate. I chopped them up myself. And um, use quick chocolate. It's not that much more expensive than uh, the less expensive stuff. And it's really good to really use the freshest and the best ingredients Absolutely. you could possibly get. Absolutely. Fresh eggs, sure. All right, very yeah. good. Shall we start? Yeah, let's start. What okay. we're going to do is have you take the flour, mix it into the uh, So we have a, what, what, two cups this of oats two or something? About a cup and a three, uh, two and a half cups, I'm okay. sorry. Of course, and we'll have the recipe on the website. Yeah, two so. and a half cups of uh, oats, and, and we've got one and three quarter cups regular of regular all-purpose flour? All, all flour. Okay, very good. We've got a tablespoon of salt a and tablespoon a tablespoon of, of baking soda. Make sure your baking soda is fresh. Some people oh. keep it in their uh, cupboard. I've done and, that before. And, and it I've comes had to go, out terrible. Yeah, sure. I've had to go back to the grocery store really quickly when I realized that my baking soda And while you're doing that, I'm going to continue creaming this, okay? okay? What are you creaming over there? Uh, I have a cup of butter, which is two sticks. Okay. And we have some uh, regular all-purpose sugar, granulated sugar, and some dark brown sugar packed. And she came up with this idea that morning? Yeah, she did. Yeah, and it became her cookie of the month. And I'm going to add two eggs to okay. this. These are fresh eggs. And you actually have another recipe on your website. Yeah, that I she, do. That her, she makes. Yes, her sour cream coffee cake is phenomenal. It's in her cookbook. I have made that. And my column that came out this week uh, gives the website and how to get to that sour cream coffee cake. Very and good. she's got a great background. She started at 11 years old baking cookies at her father's <laughs> um, and selling her father's farm stand and ended up she sold more uh, of the the cookies, cookies that her dad sold eggs, oh and the rest goodness. is history. Her products are in 5,000 plus um, 
stores throughout the country. And now, what are you pouring in there I'm right now? I'm pouring in about a tablespoon of homemade vanilla extract. And very, how do you make your homemade vanilla? Oh, gosh, want my extract. secret? Yes, please, uh, share. It's the, the less expensive vodka you can find. Okay. And three or four uh, vanilla beans split. Put it into a dark room or a dark cabinet for about a month, and you're going to have the best vanilla extract that you've ever had. Now, I've never heard of using vodka. What does that do to the vanilla? Well, actually, your real extract has... Uh, Alcohol in it. Oh, it sure oh, I does. Didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. And use real pure vanilla extract. Okay. What I want to do now is take your mixture yes. over there. Oh, you want to bring it? Want me to bring it over? Yeah, bring here? it over here because okay. my plug I don't think is going to reach there. All and right. just sl slowly put it in here. Okay. Very good. In about two minutes. Okay. And while we're doing that, you have a tour coming up tomorrow. Yes, we do. Our culinary walking tour worth tasting. We go to ten different stops in New Haven, and we try to keep it a secret as to where we're going because it's a lot of uh, interesting uh, place we go to and part of the fun is not knowing where you're going to. Exactly. It's supposed to be a culinary surprise. That's right, a culinary <laughs> surprise. And uh, the cookies are out of this world. I have to thank my friends at Scoozy that helped me make that batch that we're going to get to taste uh, in a little while. So we have about a minute 30. We're going to take the coconut. Okay. And the nuts. The, the nuts. Yep. Okay. Put everything in. Put everything in. And All I'm right. going to go now and, and this take. this is the Heath Bar. That's the Heath okay. Bar Crunch. Yep. All right. Great. And this is the chocolate. Okay. And we just mix it all mix together. Mix it all together. And then. And then we we're going it? to form it. Yep. Let's. Why don't Let's you mix that? Yeah, I will. And we'll form it. Yep. And then. And then we're going to put it into the oven, a 325 degree oven for, for about 17 minutes. Okay. This is not very difficult. No, not at all. Okay. All right, so let's let's see if we can shape it okay. so that everybody can see. Sure. You use a little scooper there. Yep, we got the little scooper, and I always spray it with some uh, of that, uh, you know, good old spray. There you go. Yeah, because you don't want it to get no. Uh, and I'm using sticky. a two tablespoon little ice cream. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. That's two inches apart from each other. Okay. And use parchment paper. Or just parchment paper, okay. or you can use a silk pad if you want to spend some okay. money, but you don't need to. Excellent. Okay. And we'll cook these for 17 minutes and... You can get, how about, how many cookies out of this 52, recipe? 52, it says. Okay. 52 right. cookies. You want to leave that right there? We have about uh, less than 30 seconds, but I want to show everybody the, the finished product. Sure. It's over here. Look at this. This looks so yummy. And Thanks. you know what I am going to taste? Because it's oatmeal in it. It's going to be healthier than most cookies. Yes. Okay. Mm. So what do you think? Very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stephen, thank you for sharing the recipe with us. Always and it's going on our website, so check that out. Up next on stage eight, it is a dance off like no other. Sonia Baghdadi and Gil Simmons battling it out on the dance floor. We'll give you a preview to the upcoming Mad About Dancing event when Connecticut style returns. Just tell me what it is. High rolling numbers winning. The Yankees played the Blue Jays tonight at seven on my TV nine. The Bronx Bombers head to Toronto. Who will win the first in this three-game series? Tune in to find out tonight at 7 on MyTV9. Send your picks and video to report it at WTNH.com. What can you do with original duck brand duct tape? Maybe the better question is, what can't you do? Got almost anything to do? Get the duck to do it. Now available in exciting new prints. If you're considering home improvements this fall, you owe it to yourself to check out Advanced Window Systems. AWS is the only home improvement company used and endorsed by local celebrities with factory direct, high quality windows starting at only $199 installed. Advanced Window Systems is locally owned and operated by the Lavoie family and their experienced team of professionals. Call for our fall special and save up to 50% on your heating bills this winter. Same as cash for one year, paid in full.
psychologist Gil Simmons and his dance partner Cassandra Stevenson. It's all part of the Mothers Against Drunk Driving Mad About Dancing event at Mohegan Sun. I'm here with Janice Heggie Margolis, the executive director of Mad to Fill Us In. Welcome to the show. It's nice uh, to have thanks. you here. I just want to make a comment. I think Gil might win. He's in the running, yeah, right? He's, he's pretty good. <laughs> so tell me about the event for people who are not familiar with okay, it. Okay, this is an event that raises public awareness, um, sponsored by Mohegan Sun, WCTY, and of course Arthur Murray Dance Studios, where um, celebrities are chosen from throughout the state to help us learn how to dance. They are given lessons by Arthur Murray. Um, costuming, these costumes actually were support, are going to be worn by Sonia Baghdadi um, at the event, and they were given to her to use by a former dancer, Miss Connecticut Outstanding Teen Acacia Courtney. So as you can see from these, it's quite an upbeat, fun uh, seems event it. that, again, raises public awareness about the crime of drunk driving. Well, tell us uh, Matt's mission, exactly. Well, the mission of Matt is to stop drunk driving, support the victims of the violent crime of drunk driving, and prevent underage drinking. And, of course, our best kept secret is working through the criminal justice system with victims of alcohol-related crashes. But once a month or so, we're doing a special event to raise funds for MAD so that we can continue the important work that we do. Um, right now, we're seeing about 600 families that have been affected by drunk driving, and we offer those services at no cost. So, of course, we have to raise funds, um, and we are so pleased to have Gil and Sonia and the backing of TV8 to make this event happen. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about the competition. Who, uh, who else is competing? <laughs> What's going to happen? Well, I can't tell you all of the com competitors right, because, of course, <laughs> we want Sonia and Gil to win. No, that, that would be unfair. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but um, we do um, have a committee uh, at Mohegan Sun that puts together an agenda of dancers, um, celebrities, if you will, who really care about the issue of drunk driving, who want to support mothers against drunk driving. And this is our third year. Um, it raises a fair amount of money for us, and I have have to tell you that without the backing of Mohegan Sun and WCTY and Arthur Murray, we couldn't do an event like this. It's grand scale. We're almost sold out on tickets, although I, w I would say that if anybody wants a ticket, they can contact the MAD office. Um, there are a few left. There'll be um, hors d'oeuvres and auction and um, food all provided by Mohegan Sun. And it's just a fun event. We have three judges um, that um, know what they're doing. Okay. And really, this is a competition. Um, and so um, these dancers who've received five free lessons, and I th I've been told that some of them even pay for more, so they'll look good on stage. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Um, are really interested in putting on an awesome show for MAD. Terrific. And how long did all have the dancers been training? Well, my understanding is they get the five free dancers, so that's once a week. Um, but I also understand, as I said, that they've take, opted to take on more <laughs> lessons. Um, not everyone who's chosen to be a celebrity actually has dancing in their background. So this is really a feat that they're undertaking for our mission, so it's really awesome. Well, terrific. Let's put all the information back up on the screen. Mad About Dancing is happening Friday, September 30th at Mohegan Sun. The Cabaret Theater doors open at 7. The competition starts at 8, and all the proceeds go to Benefit Mad. If you want to take, uh, if you want to help or you want to go, 203-764-2569 is the number to call. Good. Thank you very much. All right. This is very special, Janet. We are going to see Sonia and her dance partner, David. Take it away, guys. Stage 8 on Connecticut Style is sponsored by Neal's Wood Flooring of Brantford, home of the finest wood floors in Connecticut. It's Scott Haney at Middlebury Consignment. Have you picked up things here? That, you Absolutely. Know, what have you gotten? I've got, I don't think I could go in one room of my house without finding something that I've gotten here. And of course, while I'm here consigning, <laughs> There's a lot of damage done because I always manage to find the perfect thing for my house. Which is dangerous. It's very dangerous. But it's a fun dangerous. It is. Middlebury consignment. Consignment and a whole lot more. Middlebury consignment. Come spend the day. I'm sexy and I know it.
Dancing with the Stars two-hour season premiere event, Monday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Unbelievable pics of Hurricane Irene. Unbelievable videos of Hurricane Irene. You shot all these and sent them to us through Report It, and they helped us do a better job covering the storm. Thanks so much for being a part of the team. The unique, the spectacular, vintage lighting exclusively for you. Restoration Lighting Gallery has rare heirloom quality lighting, lamps, and shades. Hundreds of one-of-a-kind treasures that you may never find again. Restoration Lighting Gallery and Coisel Partners. Restoring yesterday's treasures. Introducing tomorrow's heirlooms. Restoration Lighting Gallery. We bring memories to light. You just saw Sonia and her partner David along with Gil and his partner Sandy. Show us a little bit of the moves that they'll be doing at the Mad About Dancing competition on Friday, September 30th. You guys really rocked it. And well, you thank know, you. Justin, we were holding back because we don't want to give yeah. too much away. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> How have the rehearsals been going? So much fun. Yeah, it's been so much fun. And we've, we've kind of upped it now a little yeah. more because yeah. I forced you to. Because I'm getting kind of nervous. My as we arm. Get okay, so how <laughs> difficult have these guys been? Have they been divas at all? You know what? Uh, me? I don't believe that. <laughs> I have no. the best teacher in the world, though, right here. Uh, so. I have the best teacher in the world. Uh -oh. We can fight over it. You can. <laughs> Please do. Yo, how many dances are you doing for this? Uh, it's going to be, I hope, two. Okay. Good ones, smooth ones. Yeah, Foxtrot and Rumba. And what do you do? That's for the men. For the, the women are doing the waltz and the cha cha. All right, how many hours all together have you been working together? Oh, I lost count a long time ago. Really? Yeah. A lot of hours? It's all fun, though. I mean, I, I really dislike when it ends because <laughs> you're kind of into it and learning new steps. I mean, when you first see the, the pros perform, you're like, there's no way I'm ever going to figure that out. <laughs> but my great teacher here, we chip away at it, and then after a while, you're like, wow, that's me. And assuming yeah. you're getting a workout while you're doing this, too. It is see a pretty these? good work, but you, you forget <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> the abs from the last yes. weights. You forget that you're, you know, they talk about that. I put on a little more muscle, I you think. You did? Yeah. Okay. I feel like my legs are a little more muscular. And you forget, you don't even feel like you're working out because it's so much fun. I've been telling everybody that they need to go just go oh, you take do a feel it. try it out. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, Even we don't have day. a lot of time left. We want to show some folks, uh, the folks at home, some of your moves. So okay. can we get the music going? And yeah. David and Sandy, you want to show us what you want to do? Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of cha-cha. It's one of the dances that Sony and I got to dance. So what All we'll right. do is we'll just have, Sony, if you would, back on up for me. We're sure. going to put the ladies, the follows on this okay. side, okay. and the leaders on this side. Oh, and what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to learn leader. our feet together. He's the leader, all right? All right, wrong side. That's right. Okay, we'll do it. No, he's got this. All right, the first thing that's most important we have to understand our left from our right. Ladies, we're going to start with our right foot. We got okay. that? Got it. Gentlemen, right. leads, we're going <laughs> yes. to start with our left foot. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to change weight from foot seconds. to foot. Okay. All right, here we do. We're going to start with our right foot. We're going to start with the left. Ready? We march in place. Ready. March, 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 march. Now we're going to add some rhythm. We do. March, march, cha-cha-cha. March, march, cha-cha-cha. March, march, cha-cha-cha. March, march, cha-cha-cha. We move forward and back. Cha cha cha, a little back to front. Oh. Cha cha cha, forward and back. Cha right, cha cha, and time. back to front. Cha cha cha. Most of all, make it a great, make it a great day. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh, I gotta give you a spin. All right.